box and block here at Newcastle Civic Centre with Eddie Hearn. Eddie, it seems two minutes ago since you were last year, mm. but you were as good as you were. You said you'd be back this year, you're back. Um, wide from the success of the first one? Yeah, I mean, look, it's pretty obvious we were going to come back after what we mm. saw last time. Um, I couldn't believe it, to be honest with you. Like, we've seen some great atmospheres. You know, Frampton when we were doing the European titles, Warrington when we were taking him to European titles. And this was this felt a little bit more raw, if that makes sense. Like, it was unexpected. It, yeah. it wasn't premeditated. It was just a guy that all of a sudden had sold like 1,500 tickets himself and an atmosphere that I've just never seen before. And that was with 6,000 people in there. But this time, I think we'll feel the lot. And uh, it's a big step up for him. We've seen him dominate at domestic level. Let's see if he can move up and become European champion as well. Um, just steps now yeah. to get into where we want to be. He's okay. going to box on the calm card to try and get some rounds in. He's only done four rounds in his last three fights. That's so an issue, isn't it? It's, it's a big issue yeah. because everyone talks about how much he's improving, how dangerous he is, but how can you improve if you haven't even been in there doing rounds? One thing that I really believe he'll get against Patera is rounds yeah. because I think he's going to be awkward. I think he's decent. You know, you saw him go to Finland and beat Tatley for the European title as well. So, and he's got an air of confidence about him. You know, when I asked him about Ritson's power, he sort of smirked as if to say, no, I'm not like the others, you know, and uh, I've never been hurt before. And uh, he believes he can beat Ritson. He's a very cool man, isn't he? Very he is. state of style yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I think, when it, I remember when we had him over to fight Sean Dodd. Yeah. We didn't really know a lot about him. And he surprised us that night because it was a fight that could have gone either way. A lot of people thought he won that fight. But then off the back there, he went and boxed Tatney for the European mm. title and beat him. So that was, all of a sudden, we realised, wow, this guy's a good fighter. And, um, you know, like I said, he's, I'm sure he looks at Ritson and thinks, is the hype real? And I think it's, we're going to answer a lot of questions on October 13th. You said in the conference there that you, you know Tatley vacated then you looked down, fatigued, injured. Mm. But there's not much in those three at all, is there? If, in, no, if I think, ta- well, I mean, Patera, Patera beat Tatley. So, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You, Patera, Tatley and Petit are very similar in, in ability and quality. Tatley is ranked high in the world, yeah. would have been a nice scout, but that can come in time. So it's a proper test, you know, and it's a, it's a big step up. It's a natural step up as well. And it's something that the Newcastle fans can get their teeth stuck into. You know, he's won British titles. Yeah. Now the natural step is European titles, and the one after that is world titles. And who knows when that'll be? I think undercard wise, Glenn Foot, Robbie Davis yeah, fights the one that's yeah. got everyone talking. Could For be sure. A, a yeah, a really good one. fight. I mean, look, you've got the the unbelievable skills of Joshua Boazzi on the card. You've got the quirkiness of Dave Allen. Yeah. But in terms of trade, domestic fights, Glenn Foot against Robbie Davis Jr. is a brilliant fight. And you know, he's going to be bringing plenty from Liverpool. We're going to come mm. with Craig Glover as well, who's fighting Simon Valilli. That's a really good fight. That's a good fight. And Glenn Foot's going to have his support from Sunderland and also the home support of Lewis Ritson as well. And you know, it's important that these guys can try and piggyback onto Lewis Ritson's success. You know, people like Thomas Ward on the bill as well. He's not far off a world title shot. And Joe Laws at the bottom. Uh, well, Joe Laws, the, bottom I mean, the support he's got is incredible. So it's brilliant. That it's just refreshing, to be honest yeah. with you, to come to a city where you feel welcomed and they're genuinely excited about the event. I think uh, elsewhere for you, Eddie, the Chicago card that, you know, Matthew Reviews here does mm. want to put together is getting a lot of praise from casuals and, yeah. you know, hipsters, I guess, yeah. alike, and rightly so as well. It's a great card of boxing, that one mm. over there. You I think so, yeah. I mean, I think th- there's always the negativity to come in and say, oh, you know, Vargas de Lorme, oh, and then, but it's, hold on a minute, Paterbiev against Callum Johnson, yeah. Roman against McDonald, Gerald Miller on a card as well. Yeah. It's a great card. October 20th is even better. That's, that was sorry, that's well as I mean, that's, yeah, you know, that's, Boston, yeah, that's an incredible card. We're getting a lot of praise from that, and rightly so. Yeah. Andrade Saunders is one of the best matchups of the year. Two of the most skillful, most avoided 160 pounders out there. Um, Did ten, that take much negotiation with the yeah, Fanguan side I mean, of things? Or? Well, he never wanted to do a deal with us, but we offered so much money that the fighter couldn't turn it down, mm. and in the end, nor could Frank Warren. So, yeah, it's a big win for Sky, it's a big win for DAZN yeah. to get that fight on the platform. Um, James Tennyson against Tevin Farmer is a brilliant yeah, fight as well. Yeah, Katie Taylor James against that. Serrano, yeah. Tommy Coyle um, against Danny O'Connor, Kid Galahad against Toka Clary as well for the winner of Frampton and, and Warrington. Packed, packed card. Scott Quiggs on the card as well. So, you know, it's, we're starting to really find our feet over there now. One more quick one about the Fury Wilder situation. Uh, we've touched on it ourselves that it's on now seems yeah, to be yeah, a way yeah. to turn and have to fight yeah. uh, no date well, no venue on. just it's on I mean it's oh. on was, was the narrative used for Fury Wilder which is definitely not on at the moment unless it gets signed 
and Warrington Frampton it's on it's definitely not yeah. signed either so we'll see what happens I'm, oh, I think both might get made I'm just not sure whether Fury Wilder happens mm. that's all um, because I think it's a bad time for Fury unless he's getting I don't know if they offer Joshua 50 million 20 million then I can't see him taking a fight and I'm, I'm not sure he's getting that type of money so um, but listen it's a good fight for the division I genuinely hope it happens yeah. but of course yeah um, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't book my plane tickets with confidence for that one. And you going forward quickly, just in the UK, Amir Khan, then all roads to, yep. to Wembley. That's Joshua, right. yeah, Amir Khan on September the eighth. Yep. Joshua on September the twenty second. But you know, there's a lot of talk about Wilder, but this is a legit heavyweight fight. Povetkin is a very, very tough opponent yep. and tough fight for Josh. You got Campbell Mendy rematch on that card, which is a brilliant fight for the mandatory for Mikey Garcia. You've got Akoli against Askin as well, which is another brilliant domestic fight. Another big fight to be announced next week as well. Then October the 6th, we go to Chicago. Mm. You've got Callum Smith, George Groves wedged in between that. And then you've got October the 13th up here. October the 20th will be in um, Boston for Andrade Saunders. October the 27th will be at the Copper Box for Cheeseman against Byfield. Another big domestic yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. And also the same night, Jacob Sterevanchenko in New York for the, the uh, IBF middleweight world title. And then hopefully November finds us Usyk against Bellew, which we're trying to close at the moment, which I think is fight of the year. Busy as ever, but just yeah. the way you like it. Absolutely. Good man. Cheers. Cheers, Thank you very much.